What's up you guys, it's Matthew. So recently I've been getting a lot of questions about Zometica and in the stream I've gotten a lot of questions about Zometica. In the Discord group it's been nothing but Zom for a while, especially as it was uh, collapsing for a little bit. And um, people around me have been mentioning it uh, a lot, you know, whether it's on Facebook or, you know, physically, you know, talking to me, hey, you know, what's going on with Zom? Uh, we, we thought that this was going to do pretty well and it's not really doing that well or it's not actually taking off the way people think. So we're going to get into this, but uh, make sure you hit that like button on this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well if you're not subscribed already. And if you want to join the MP Shorts channel, please do so. I also have a Discord group in the link below in the description. Um, and uh, you can sign up for that. There are three levels and um, I think it's a great group of people. So definitely check it out. Um, but we need to talk about Zometica because if you didn't know what happened this morning, we had a really bad dip um, this morning all the way down to, I believe, a low of um, $1.11, really low. And um, basically saying that where it did close at $1.33, we didn't want to see that. We wanted to see that increase. I was able to average down the day before, um, buying a thousand more shares, bringing my average down to a dollar fifty-two, and uh, currently, you know, sitting at one dollar and thirty-nine cents. So getting down to one dollar and ten cents was horrible for my account. Now I'm comfortable with losing the total amount that's in Zometica, so I'm perfectly fine. But seeing it down one thousand one hundred dollars was something where I was like, all right, well, was this a good decision? Um, but then after seeing a lot of the, the chart and um, different information and seeing the movement today, um, it really gave me some sort of uh, positive thoughts, positive thinking um, when it comes to uh, this position. So let's go ahead and get into the chart and let you um, see what happened if you didn't actually see the breakdown. So in the beginning of the morning when the pre-market actually happened, um, you could see that it did gap down a number of times and decrease quite a bit all the way down to um, $1.13 to where it did end up finding a little bit of a decrease, a little bit of a bounce back, and then ultimately decreased to um, a low of $1.10. So that was, or $1.11, and that was horrible seeing it get to that low because I was down quite a bit, you know, over $1,000. And um, as we started to see that, you know, continue to drop down, we were hoping to see that bounce back. And this is more of a, a stock that's more driven on hope and uh, buyers than anything else. Because yes, it has a lot of great news to it, but it's still a portion of where people have to get interested in order to invest in this position. Now there's a lot of interest. Um, so I can say that people are still interested. They're still buying up this position. They were buying it up before. A lot of people were just turned off with the fact that they introduced True Forma early. Some people getting tired of it. Also, from what I hear, there's um, some short tactics that are going into this. Um, this is not a heavily shorted stock, but it is being shorted as well. So if we do get into this, we can see that it did stair step its way up in the morning, all the way up you know, to that um, $1.42 mark, and then even started to rise a little bit higher up to $1.45, started to fall a little bit down, but did rise to $1.45 to where it kind of leveled out and is between $1.40 and $1.45. Now it's kind of more in between a dollar 37 and a dollar 40 or a dollar 41 so that's understandable now we're going to see this continue to hopefully flatten out and not decrease over the later end of the day we have about an hour left into the day into the market so <clears throat> hopefully we have some positive news there um, and then in the after hours market we can hope and this is the key word is hope because it's a uh, um, it's a stock that's really driven on that hope you have a lot of news, but the news isn't really showing that it's driving um, any type of stock price um, increase. The rumor drew, uh, drew a lot of people um, to the stock, gained a lot of interest, but with the news actually coming out, it actually decreased that stock um, to where people didn't want to hold on to it after the overall rumor was, was um, kind of uh, you know dropped, I guess. I don't know what other word to use, but you know, the rumor is, is over and now it's actually news. So we'll see how this all plays out, but we know that Zometica is a great play. I still believe in them. I still have 3,000 shares worth of Zometica, um, a total of $4,562 in Zometica itself. 
um, with the potential chance of it going to that $3 mark. And if it does, then that's basically doubling in my, my price. So basically doubling the $4,562 that I have into 8,000 or 9,000, um, uh, you know, $124, um, or so. So that would be amazing to be able to see that double, um, because then that would turn into a significant amount. Now, would I let it push all the way up to that point? Probably not. I wouldn't even let it get to a retest of that $3. I'm more likely going to sell at the 250 mark. Just gaining really $3,000 on top of that is perfectly fine with me. Not giving that the ability to get to that retest phase, even though it does have a lot of um, ability to rise even above that long term. If you don't know me, I'm not a long term player. I'm always looking for that short term gain where I can gain a significant amount of money or even a smaller amount of money in a short period of time. So that's the way that I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it as a great play um, short term, and I still see the potential to rise up to that two, two fifty, three dollar mark easily. Um, but literally, like I said, it's all driven on hope. So I don't want you to have to get into this position and um, think that um, you're going to gain a ton because it could come back on you. It could be a, uh, a stock that comes back to a dollar. Um, if you own it at a dollar eighty, it still does have its potential. If you own it at a dollar ninety, still does have its potential. But if you're that person that got in at thirty something dollars and um, you didn't sell um, at the period of time where it was at two dollars and forty cents or two dollars and eighty cents, I'm, I'm not sure where it was exactly at. But if you didn't sell up there, then I'm not saying you missed the boat because you can still get to that point, but you missed an opportunity to take that money, um, you know, sell that and then get in at a at a low point, not a lower point than where you were, but at a lowish point. So um, I still believe in what Zometica can do. It has a lot of information behind it. Like I said, from what I've seen, there was 30.7 million uh, shorted shares um, that, you know, um, I don't know who's actually short in this position, but 37 or 30.7 million, um, you know, shorted share positions um, out of the 86 million shares. Let's actually go ahead and look at this and see if we can find um, something really quick. So if we go into here, let's go ahead and refresh this. Uh, let's see what it looks like. So yeah, 30.7 million shares. This haven't really updated, 36% uh, percent short volume. We're still seeing 7.7 .7 short shares available. So it's not being heavily shorted. It just has a number of short positions that people are saying this stock is gonna go down. I understand why. It was a stock that was at um, 30, it was at 36 cents or something like that. It was at a really low amount um, when it comes to the, the overall price. So I understand where they're coming from, why they are shorting it, why they are holding these short positions. Um, and the short borrow fee ratio um, is, or fee rate is not really that high. So overall, I think Zometica is a great play. I'm gonna continue to hold on to them and get that up to that uh, $2.15, $2.50 mark. Um, it does have a number of retest points that I can get to, but I'm not looking for that ultimate retest point of $3. Um, I'm looking for it right below that retest point of um, $2.50 or so. And then we can go from there, making a decent amount of money of it. So let me know what you think about Zom, because it has a lot of due diligence that you can do, a lot of research that you can do behind it. And I see all of the different claims. I don't want to talk about all of these different pieces that go into it, because a lot of them are speculative. So looking at this, it, it's all speculation. And I don't want to just feed in the speculation. I'd rather pitch hope than speculation in any case. So um, we have all this information out there. You can do your due diligence on that information. I'm going with what is actually there. Um, if I'm seeing the short volume, I'm going with the, what's actually there. I'm seeing the release of true form. I'm going with what, what is actually there. Can't speak. But um, that's pretty much it. That's what I had for, Zom, for Zometica, for Zom. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure that you check out the links below. You can get free stocks with Webull if you sign up and deposit $100. And I have my MP Shorts channel that I created. Um, also, my uh, Perry Experience channel, which is going to be more reaction-based and uh, gaming and a lot of other things, more of the Perry Experience than anything. And uh, if you guys want to join the Discord group, please click that link below and join that Discord group. It's a great group of people. Um, and there's also three levels to where we will really fully introduce the third level soon um, and uh, introduce the book portion of uh, my Patreon group. But if you guys are um, interested in that, click that link below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.